Today we look to answer the question, should you sell your camera gear? Okay, so let me be straight with you. Today I'm not going to tell you to go and sell all of your camera gear and rely on your phone to take amazing photos that will give you the same results. I'm sorry, I know, the title of this video is a bit clickbaity. What I want to talk about today is how many of us love hoarding camera gear. Over time we accumulate cameras, lenses, tripods and other miscellaneous bits and pieces. And the real question is, how many of them do we really use? I think it's really healthy to occasionally review your camera gear and really test yourself and think, have I actually used all this gear in the past year or 18 months? Should I hang on to it or am I better off selling some of it and generating some money that I can use elsewhere? Around twice a year I like to lay out all my camera gear and really think about what makes it into my camera bag. And also then with regards to that stuff that does get into my camera bag, do I ever really take it out and use it? And then for those items that I don't really use, the real question I have to ask myself is, why? As you can see here, I have two cameras and I use them both. My Sony a7 III I use as my main camera for both photography and videography and my Sony a6000 I use as a backup for it and also when I'm videoing to take alternative angles and that kind of thing so they are definitely going to stay. I have a couple of Tamron zoom lenses, I use those all of the time and I also have some small Sigma Prime lenses that I use in my Sony a6000. However the one thing that really sticks out to me is this Sony 85mm f1.8 prime lens. I never use it. I've had this lens for a couple of years and I'll be amazed if I've taken more than a couple of hundred photographs with it. It's not a bad lens, optically it's excellent and it's built amazingly, but the thing is it's a type of lens that's really geared towards portrait photography and that's just not something that I'm really into. My photography is generally geared towards landscapes and travel and whilst I do generally carry this lens around with me, I don't think I ever take it out of my bag. The real question you might be asking yourself is, well then why did you buy it? And that's a very good question. I do remember around the time I bought it, I was hoping to take more portrait photos. I have a young family, so I thought maybe I could use this in conjunction with my camera to get some great photos of the kids, and my wife and us all together. However, it never materialized. And to be honest with you, anybody who has children will tell you that you're never really going to be able to find your camera, make sure the right lens is on it, turn it on and try and get the photograph. It's all about the moment. And in that situation, the phone is king. So then we come to the crux of the video. Should I sell this camera lens? Ultimately, if it's just sitting there not getting used, it's a wasting asset. And whilst things like camera lenses don't generally depreciate heavily over time, all it takes is for the manufacturer to release an updated version of it and all of a sudden the lens you own plummets in value. If it were something like a camera that you were looking to sell, well then those do depreciate much quicker. So in that situation, time really is of the essence. If you're going to sell something, you should do it quickly. So I think I'm going to sell this lens. And in doing so, I'm going to generate some money that I can reinvest into my photography. I could buy another piece of gear that I'm actually going to use, or I could spend the money on a trip or an excursion somewhere where I can take some photographs. I can ultimately use the cash to further my photography rather than having a piece of gear just sitting there gathering dust and ultimately slowly depreciating in value. And this thought process doesn't only apply to photography, it really applies to any hobby or profession which is gear heavy. For instance, if you play a musical instrument, do you own a number of those? Do you use them all? Would you be better off selling some of them and maybe buying one which you've had your eye on for a period of time? Or even golf. Have you looked at what golf clubs sit in your bag? Have you thought about which ones you use? Maybe you have some golf clubs that sit at home and never make it into your bag. Potentially you could sell those. And in both of these situations, you're going to be better off with the money than a piece of gear just sitting there doing nothing. From a photography perspective, there is actually a more scientific way of figuring out which cameras and lenses you use more than others, if you use Adobe Lightroom. I'm sure other programs can do this, I'm just not familiar with them. Anyway, if you open up Lightroom and go to the library, you should see at the top a grey bar, and this is the library filter. And before you do anything else, on the left hand side, make sure under catalogue you've selected all photographs. Then go back to the library filter and click on metadata. This bar should expand and in here you can start filtering and specifically you can start filtering and seeing the number of photos you've taken with each camera and with each lens. So in my case I have 29,826 photographs in my Lightroom catalogue and you can see I've used 28 cameras and 70 lenses with those cameras. And now I can start scrolling down these columns and seeing specifically how much I've used each camera and each lens. 
So for instance, if I scroll down in the camera section, I can see my Sony a7 III, my main camera that I own today. And I have 3447 photos taken with that camera in my Lightroom library. Similarly, below that, I can see my Sony a6000, with which I have 2100 photos in my library. Now if I click on my a7 III as I have done now, you can see it constrains the results to the photographs taken with that camera. But also what it's done in the lens column is reduce that to the four lenses that I've used with this camera. And here you can see it proves my point around the 85mm Sony lens. You can see out of these four lenses, the one that I've used the most, that I've taken over 2000 photographs with, is the Tamron 28-75mm lens. The lens that I've used the second most is my 17-28mm lens. I've not had that as long as the other, so it's not surprising I haven't taken as many photographs with it. However, look at the 85mm lens. I've only taken 166 photographs with it, and I've owned that lens longer than both of the Tamron lenses. So it's clear that I just don't use the 85mm lens, and it really corroborates my thoughts around selling it. And this approach is not only useful when assessing the gear you already own, but it can also be quite useful in thinking about how you may want to expand your kit. For example, if I wanted to upgrade one of my lenses to something more expensive and theoretically better, then I could look here and see, well, the lens I seem to use the most is the 28-75mm, so if I'm going to improve something, maybe that's a place to start. And it also indicates to me that I don't have any telephoto lenses, so I could think about those. Do I want to add one of those to my arsenal? I think this is a really useful approach both in assessing which cameras you use and which lenses you use. Play around in Lightroom and see if it tells you a story. And to summarise, in my view, spending some time reviewing your camera gear and really thinking about what you own and what you do and don't use is a very healthy way to make sure that you've optimised your kit. At the end of the day, if you have items that are just sitting there and not getting used, they're essentially worthless to you. They're just slowly depreciating in value. If you can sell them and get some money, then you can use that to further your photography. And I think that approach is especially important to people who are new to photography. It's very easy when you get started to buy lots of gear thinking that you need to own it in order to take great photographs. And I think if you review what you own over a period of time, you'll actually find out that some of it you don't use. So sell it and use that money to take better photographs. And I think a lot of it is about taking emotion out of the equation. For people like me who love gear heavy hobbies, it's very easy to become attached to items which you don't even use. You have to focus on the fact that you can use the money you can generate to actually get something you do use and ultimately that piece of gear will become more useful to you and you'll become more attached to it in the long run. And finally if you decide you do want to sell a piece of gear then do your research into the best way to sell it. You could obviously put it on a website like eBay but also you could take it to a local camera store and potentially part exchange it for something that you do want. You need to really find out which way you're going to benefit yourself the most. How are you going to generate the most money? Anyway, for this 85mm lens, eBay it is. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day.